Dr. Jesse Sanders. I am the owner and chief veterinarian of Aquatic Veterinary Services. Today we will be talking about constipation in freshwater fish. Before we get started, I'd just like to point out that I have a degree in veterinary medicine from Tufts University. I am a certified aquatic veterinarian through the World Aquatic Veterinary Medical Association, and I am licensed in both California and Nevada. So today we will be talking about constipation in freshwater fish. And I say constipation because your fish is not actually constipated. Constipation occurs when a body is dehydrated. And freshwater fish, it's impossible for them to become dehydrated. Now think back to your high school chemistry and physics classes and consider the density of a fish versus the density of the water around it. Now, through the simple process of osmosis, water is gonna move from a less dense to a more dense tissue. Now, in your aquarium or your pond, your fish is gonna be the more dense tissue. Now, to, to illustrate this point, we have our water here and our fish. So when a fish enters an aqueous environment that is less dense than itself, it's going to take on water. Now, when they take on too much water, this can actually cause that dropsy or pine cone appearance. And that's because a fish's kidneys and gills are not doing their job to remove that excess water. So again, you have your tank or your pond, your fish sitting in your tank or your pond is going to take on water. And it's the gills and the kidneys that are responsible for removing that excess water. So first of all, your fish can never be dehydrated. It's never going to work more that the kidneys and gills are going to be getting rid of more water as it's coming back in. So why do we think our fish is constipated? Well, a lot of different disease processes can pretty much present that a fish just isn't feeling well. Now, a goldfish, say, floating at the top of the tank, this can be a simple issue that the swim bladder is overinflated. Certainly, since goldfish are physostomous fish, it can cause them to take in too much air as they're eating, and their swim bladder will automatically inflate a little bit more, causing that uh, overinflated appearance. Now, some goldfish, especially fancy varieties, just unfortunately don't have the correct structure in order to have normal buoyancy function. So it's really important for that, that if you are concerned about a goldfish that has improper buoyancy, that you check your water chemistry and meet with your local aquatic veterinarian. So again, your goldfish is not dehydrated because those kidneys and gills can't work at the rate that simple osmosis works at. Thank you very much for joining us for this video. We hope you learned something about fish and fish health. If you have any more questions or want to learn more about fish health, please visit our website at cafishvet.com. At Aquatic Veterinary Services, fish are treated like family.